guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kayla. I am a stay-at-home mom. I've got a 10-month-old baby girl. I think that's pretty much the spiel that I give every single video. I just got back from Publix with Riley. It was like a hot mess express. She started having a meltdown at the end of the shopping trip, but I got some stuff for the week, so I figured I'd just do like a quick little haul, show you guys what I got. This is super impromptu. I wasn't really planning on doing a haul, but I figured it had been a while since I've done like a food haul, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna show you what I bought. So I'm gonna start off with some of the stuff that I got for Riley. We've been having these little happy baby like little yogurt melts um we like these they're organic so this one is in banana mango and she seems to really like them um she loves the puffs and she loves these those are like her two little snacks so i give them to her like at one point in the day if i just need her to like sit in her high chair for a quick second this is what i give her it entertains her and she likes it. i also picked up some of her oatmeal cereal so this is what i give her in the morning mix it with a little bit of formula i put this the formula I put like some almond butter usually and then I'll put like some apple puree or something and that's pretty much her breakfast every single day. And I also stocked up on a bunch of these just um these are the Earth Best Organic just like the little pureed food. Riley is about to turn 11 months old. So in like a couple days, she's gonna be 11 months old, but she still mostly eats just puree. So whenever I go to the grocery store, we have to stock up on these foods. Um, eventually we'll start introducing more solid foods, but I am like terrified of her choking. I know that a lot of people do the baby led weaning. If you guys have any tips, advice for me in that department, leave them down below in the comments because I'm just like terrified. I do give her like some snacks throughout the day. I give her like strawberries, like cut up strawberries. Um, but even then, I'm like, if she like just like coughs or like just makes any kind of noise, I'm like always terrified that she's gonna choke on solid food. So for now, this is what we've been giving her. I'm not gonna bore you to tears showing you every single little canned pureed food that we got her. But normally, um, we'll look for like the Gerber organics. Um, the organic food is obviously a lot more expensive. So normally, what I'll do is like I'll go to the store and I'll just see kind of what's on sale because like there's so many different baby food brands, and then I'll kind of go from there depending on what we need. But I've given her the regular Gerber, the not organic, and you know what? Like my mom probably gave me regular stuff that was probably bad for you i don't know but i'm still alive so honestly as long as she's fed as long as she's not starving i think she's doing just fine all right this is like in no particular order because i just set the bags down but i got myself this little um ready pack bistro salad i really love these just whenever like i need like a quick um like grab and go kind of lunch or if i'm in the middle of like doing a million things i don't want to prep something for myself i really like these they already come with the dressing this one has um i think it's like ham it's like ham, cheese, and this super delicious, like creamy ranch dressing. So I really like them. Um, and they're big. Like honestly, like this will fill me up. So this is like a very good lunch to have handy. I think they're $3.99 at the store. So I don't think that's terrible for lunch. Let's see. I also got Joe two bananas because we still had some here at home. Um, but he grabs like a banana every day before he heads out to work. That's like his breakfast i guess as he drives to work so we always have bananas i would give riley bananas but she actually hates them so i can't give her bananas that's like a fruit that would be so easy to just chop up and give her but she doesn't like it so maybe in a couple months or in a couple weeks i'll try it again to see if she does but i don't like bananas and it's funny because those yogurt melts are banana and she eats them but for whatever reason, like just actual bananas, she hates. And then for meat for the week, I just got these like little chicken tenderloins. These are perfect just for anything. Like I can just cook them on the skillet. It takes like five minutes, a little salt, a little pepper, a little olive oil. Um, I can make chicken tacos with that. I can just have just chopped up chicken with whatever side. I just feel like it's such an easy thing to have. And like this thing was like 581. So it's like $2 per person almost like for a meal. So we always have that in our fridge. Then I got this pack of steak. It was $15.98. Obviously meat is expensive. So when I go to the store, when I go to the store, um, I look for stuff that's like on sale or that's cheap. Um, something that's gonna last us a long time because I'm the penny pincher in the family. I'm always looking to save money. Um, and today at Publix, I saved $22. So that was a pretty, pretty good shopping trip. But when my husband goes to the store, he just buys whatever the hell he wants and he doesn't look at any of the prices. Maybe one day I'll get there, I don't know. For now, that's not the case. For now, I look at all of the prices of everything. So this, I felt like was a good amount of steak. Um, he'll just cook it on the grill. We have a Traeger smoker. This is the best thing that we've ever bought for this house. He cooks stuff on that smoker at least once a week. It's perfect for like meal prepping. So I don't know, if you want any information about the Traeger smoker, let me know um, and I'll be happy to um, share that with you guys. Our, my cat is like here looking at the groceries. But yeah, so between chicken and steak, I feel like we'll have something that we can eat this week. We won't starve. And I got two little tomatoes because I love having tomatoes just handy to make like a bruschetta 
or to um, like in the mornings if I make myself like an omelet I like chopping up tomatoes and mixing them in with my eggs so tomatoes for me is kind of like a stable but I don't like to buy too many because then what ends up happening is they go bad it's pretty much the case with like everything in our fridge like honestly we waste so much food and it's a terrible habit it's something that I want to work on because like if we're not like if it's not in our face at all times like if I don't open up that fridge like 32 times a day I forget what's there and then we end up just not eating it and it goes bad. So I just need to be careful about like what I buy and like how often I buy food. So that way I'm not like just letting it go to waste. So the other thing that I bought as far as like fruit goes, um, I bought these pineapple slices. These pineapple slices are way cheaper when you buy them this way, not cubed up. Um, and I find for whatever reason that I just eat them faster, eat them more frequently when they're like this. So I know that I'd rather buy this thing, which was $2.96 versus buying like a whole tub that's like $5. So this I'll probably have as just a snack or as like part of my breakfast. So I always like to have pineapple. It's something that I just recently started liking, like maybe a couple years ago. Um, and now it's like one of my favorite fruits ever. I also got goat cheese because I'm obsessed with cheese. Like put like a cheese plate in front of me. I'm in heaven. Like if you guys didn't see um, my Austin, Texas vlog, you can go see it. I'll leave it linked down below or it's probably one of the more recent videos. Um, but one of the nights we did like this cooking experience thing. And the first thing I saw when I walked in was like this charcuterie board, um, like just full of cheese and like salami and just like delicious stuff like this. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Let me know if you also just like love wine and cheese parties. If you're like a mouse, if you love cheese, let me know down below because we are like going to be instant friends. So yeah, goat cheese is one of my favorites and goat cheese. I was not allowed to eat when I was pregnant. I think it's like one of the cheeses that they say you probably shouldn't eat so as soon as I gave birth to Riley I had a bunch of goat cheese and now it's something that I have like probably at least like once a day with crackers or something I don't know I'm obsessed speaking of cheese I also got this thing of mozzarella this one was on sale it was like two dollars I think for like a whole thing of fresh mozzarella which I thought was a good deal because I think I've seen it in other places like when it's regular price it can be like almost five dollars so kind of crazy it's an expensive cheese but what I'll do is I'll put this with some of the tomatoes I'll put like some balsamic vinegar and then either I'll have it just plain like that or I'll put like a little bagel crisp that is one of the things that I bought I'm um, kind of have it like you know like a little piece of the bagel crisp with the tomato with the mozzarella with a little bit of balsamic and now I'm so hungry because that's exactly what I want to eat right now so yeah I always love to have lots of cheese in the fridge and I got a pack of flour tortillas okay, so it's 20 tortillas it was like three dollars I just feel like it's something that I always need to have in my pantry because it's just so easy to make stuff with tortillas. I don't know. Whenever I have like leftover chicken breast in the fridge, I can just like heat up that chicken, like chop it up really small, and then I'll just make the chicken tacos, or sometimes I'll make a chicken quesadilla. Um, I don't know. I just love these. I feel like there's a million things that you can do with them. All right, then I got these yogurt covered pretzels. Yogurt covered pretzels are one of my favorite things in the world. They're not healthy. Like, there's no way these are healthy. Like, there's a bunch of sugar. Yeah, these are like 16 grams of sugar for seven pieces. Um, so yeah, I don't think they're the healthiest things in the world, but I pretend. I pretend that they're healthy because it says yogurt covered pretzels. It does not say chocolate covered pretzels, it says yogurt. And in my mind, yogurt is healthy, so I guess these are a healthier snack option. I need to have things that I can grab and reach for throughout the day in the pantry. And it's either this or like Sour Patch. So I think this is a little bit better. I was really excited when I saw these um, today because these are buy one, get one free. If you guys shop at Publix, you know that they always have like their buy one, get one free. Like every week, I guess it changes what's buy one, get one free. So I'm always looking for the buy one, get one free stuff, always. But these are my all time favorite muffins. Like if you have a Publix nearby and you haven't checked out their like bakery muffins, uh, you need to because they're delicious. So these are the chocolate chip ones. Now I have eight muffins. <laughs> so obviously Joe will eat some of these with me, but I love to have them in the morning. Like what I'll typically do is like, I'll have like eggs and then on the side I'll have like half a muffin or really, I mean, sometimes a whole muffin. Right, the other things that I got um, were these Snack Factory pretzel crisps. I love these and these were also buy one, get one free. So that was like a score. Got the garlic Parmesan flavor over here and then just the original. I love these bagel crisps. They're just like one of my all time favorite snacks. They're salty, they're savory. Um, and they just go well like if I want to eat them with like a slice of cheese or a slice of prosciutto um, And then I also bought hummus so that's perfect because I can have hummus and I can have these little pretzel crisps as a snack And it's still relatively healthy. These are not so bad I also got Keebler club crackers if they had this in like the Publix brand I would have bought those but I couldn't find them I do not discriminate when it comes to just like 
regular Publix generic brand because almost everything that I've tried generic is, is like the same and cheaper. So I'm all about that generic um, product life. We absolutely love having club crackers in the pantry. We reach for them all the time. Joe will grab them. He'll eat them by themselves. He'll have cheese with them. Like they're just, again, another item that we always have to have because we go through these like crazy. So these are the multigrain ones. Um, I think last week we just had the regular ones. So I'm glad that they had the multigrain because then I just feel like they're a little bit better for you. Got a crap ton of like chips and stuff and dry goods. So Whatever, it's my life right now. But I also got these Stacy Bagel Crisps. I think I mentioned them before. This is what I'll put um, like the mozzarella on or I got some cream cheese that I'll also put on this. It's just like such a good snack and I love the crispiness of it, the saltiness of it. I think this is like a new thing that Stacy's has because before they used to just have the pita chips. Um, but I saw these, I think they were like $3 a bag. I've never really had them before, so I figured that I would just give them a try. Also got plantain chips. These are plantain chips, but they're lime plantain chips. And I grew up eating plantain chips like all the time because for those of you guys who don't know, my background is Cuban. So my grandparents were all born in Cuba. My parents were both born here and then I was born here, but all of my background, all of like my heritage is Cuban. So I grew up like around just like Cuban style dinners, rice, beans, um, and then plantain chips. It's like one of the things that like my great grandmother used to make bags of plantain chips like from scratch and they were so good. Like I used to like be so excited every time that my dad would come home and say, oh my God, like Awe had plantain chips made for you guys. They were so bomb. So my entire life I've loved plantain chips. Um, regular plantain chips are awesome. But then recently I discovered these lime ones and I love anything that's like citrusy, lime. So I always grab these when I see them in the store. All right, then I got a box of macaroni and uh, this is not the best thing ever for you at all. Like I pour out the cheese from this over the shelves when I'm cooking them and I'm like, man, there's gotta be some bad stuff in here. Like all of this is artificial. None of this is healthy, but it's so good. And it's just so comforting. And when I don't feel like cooking anything on the side, this is what I eat and it makes me happy. Then I got these um, Fiber One bars, not because I'm having any kind of bathroom issues, but because they're actually really good. Um, and they were buy one, get one free. So I love having granola bars in my pantry for like whenever I'm like running errands with Riley or like I know that I'm gonna be like held up somewhere where I'm gonna get hungry and I'm not gonna have a chance to eat. I throw a granola bar in my diaper bag. So this just happened to be what was on sale, honestly. I think last time I got um, some kind of organic brand. I don't think that these are organic, but they're oats and chocolate. So I think that they'll be fine. All right, so I think I'm almost done. I got a bag of goldfish because I'm like five. I don't know, like I just love goldfish. These are the organic goldfish. I think this entire pouch was like $4. And it was one of the things that I was like, I don't care. I want goldfish. I'm gonna buy goldfish. And now I'm gonna eat goldfish. So then these are the puffs that I was talking about that Riley loves. These are the Gerber Organic. They have the puffs in just regular or organic. Um, they happen to be the same price today. So I was like, all right, let's just go with the organic. But these are the apples. They're like little star shapes. She loves these. Um, again, she can go through probably like a whole tub of these puffs in like two days. It's crazy. Um, I try to limit her puff intake, but it's what she likes. All right, then I got just a dozen eggs. I love having eggs. There's a pack of cookies that I'm planning on making this week. They're like pumpkin spice cookies. And it's just like one of those super easy just cookie mixes. It comes in like the bag already. It just says add the egg, add like a stick of butter and uh, that's it. So I knew that I needed an egg for that, but then just regularly, every day almost, I'm having scrambled eggs. That's my egg style of preference. Um, let me know down below if you're like a sunny side up kind of girl or if how you like your eggs. I do not like my eggs like runny with like the yolk everywhere, but some people swear by that. I don't know, maybe I'll get into it, but for now, I like my eggs scrambled. Occasionally I'll do like a hard boiled egg. Um, whenever we were doing like the whole 30 or whenever we're trying to eat a little bit cleaner, what we'll do is we'll hard boil, like we'll buy two dozen eggs and then one dozen we'll hard boil and just have them in the fridge ready to go. I think that's like such a good healthy snack. And then the other one we just leave for just regular cooking of the eggs. So yeah, these are definitely gonna be eaten for breakfast. And a lot of times, like honestly, like we do a lot of just eggs for dinner sometimes because Joe gets home, he's tired. I've had a long day like dealing with a tiny human and I don't feel like cooking. So some days we'll just like look at each other, we'll be like, can we just do eggs? All right, a few last things. I got a quarter pound of prosciutto. I love prosciutto. It's like my favorite thing. It's my jam. Eat that with some of the crackers or the bagel crisps. Like I've got options here. I've got a lot of stuff that I can have the prosciutto with. Then I also got a pack of sliced apples. I'm a fan of like the tangy, like Granny Smith apples. 
So I love that these are just already, like they're ready to go. I just literally just open this bag and I can eat the apple from it. There's no washing involved. There's no cutting involved. Obviously that makes me sound like the laziest human alive, which I kind of am. See, so yeah, I love these and what I'll do is normally like I'll grab some peanut butter from the pantry um, and I'll just slap some peanut butter on the apples and that is also like a really good and like delicious snack. All right, then I got just some shredded cheese. These were buy one, get one free. So whenever I see the shredded cheese, on sale at the store, I grab it because like normally each one of these is four dollars, and then these were buy one get one free. So two dollars I can pay for a thing of cheese, four dollars like that's kind of pricey for cheese. This is a hummus that I was talking about earlier. I'll have this like with the pretzel crisps, and that'll be like a super good snack. I just like regular old plain classic hummus. Like whenever there's like jalapeno or anything spicy in it, uh, I can't eat that because I hate spicy food. So it had been a while since we had cream cheese in our fridge, and I'm again love all kinds of cheeses, especially cream cheese. Um, so I grabbed this brand. I had never heard of it before in my life. It's called Arla and it says your naturally good original cream cheese spread. So it says no added hormones. It's very natural. I don't know if you've ever seen this in your store. Um, it can either be really good or it can taste like crap. I don't know. I will keep you guys posted. All right, so sorry, my camera died. So I started putting stuff away in my pantry. Um, if you guys haven't seen my pantry organization video, I have a tiny pantry and it was always a hot mess. A couple months ago, I went to the Dollar Tree and I just organized it. So I'm gonna leave a link to it down below. All right, so I got this So Delicious Dairy-Free Yogurt. This is my favorite dairy-free yogurt. I've been eating this for like months months, like months and months um, since I decided to try out like a dairy-free yogurt. This is so good. Um, this one is in vanilla. I think that they have different flavors, but I think for the most part, I eat the vanilla one. I think I've tried like the lime flavored um, yogurt, which is not bad, but this one I love because what I'll do is like, I'll have this in the morning um, with some like dark chocolate granola and it is so good. Delicious also has like a couple other things. I think they have like a, a dairy-free ice cream and they have like dairy-free like chocolate ice cream pops or something like that. So if you're interested in trying out dairy-free products, I highly, highly recommend them. It tastes just as good as yogurt. Like you wouldn't even know that it's dairy-free or I don't know, maybe I just, I've developed the taste buds for it, um, but it's really good. So just check it out. Then I got a bag of broccoli, not very interesting, but I love broccoli. What we'll do with this is like anytime that Joe is cooking on the grill, um, like if we have chicken and we need like a side, what he'll do is he'll take like a sheet pan out, put some olive oil on the pan, and then we'll just put the broccoli, it's a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit more olive oil, and we'll stick it in the oven. I think it takes like, I don't know, don't quote me because I might set your house on fire. Um, but I think like 20, 30 minutes, I don't know. Let me see if it says. I don't know, Google it. It doesn't take very long and then it's like a perfect side with whatever protein you're having. And then I got this bag of skillet gnocchi. Um, we've never had gnocchi in our home, but when I was in Texas last week, um, we made gnocchi from scratch and I came back and it was, first of all, it was delicious. So when I came back, I told Joe I really wanted to make gnocchi from scratch. But since I know that it's gonna be a while before we actually have like homemade gnocchi, I figured we'd try this out. It's like two or three dollars for this bag of gnocchi. So I don't know, it can't be that bad. And for three dollars, I feel like I'll just put a little bit of marinara sauce or just some olive oil, salt and pepper, and it'll be like the perfect little like pasta dish. All right, so that's it for food. But I did wanna show you guys uh, just a couple things that I got, like toiletries. I got me some dry shampoo because I was out. I love the Dove um, dry shampoo. I think it's like $5.59 or something. So it's a good price. I haven't tried this scent before. It's fresh coconut, so I feel like it has to smell somewhat clean. Um, but if you're looking for a dry shampoo that's really cheap, um, I like the Dove one. And then I got these cotton rounds because basically that's what I take my makeup off almost every night with. I love the Garnier Micellar Water. Um, I feel like it just takes all of your makeup off. So I grabbed one of these, but if you ever need cotton rounds, I highly suggest you check your Dollar Tree first. My friend Katie was the first one who told me about this, but this whole pack of cotton rounds at Publix was $1.75 and like the exact same thing at the Dollar Tree is a dollar. So if you wanna save money on something simple like this, uh, check out your Dollar Tree. Then I got Riley a loofah because we've been wanting a loofah for her to bathe her. The one that I had in her bathroom was like kind of old and dirty. <laughs> Not that I bathe my daughter in like dirty, disgusting stuff, but I wanted like a brand new loofah. So I got her one of those. And then even though I love the micellar water, I've been wanting to experiment with like different makeup removing wipes. So I grabbed this one. Um, this is from a brand called Simple. And this was a two pack. Each pack brings 25 makeup removing wipes. 
and I think the pack was like $8 and it was also 20% off. So I think I got a good price on these wipes. Their thing is that they're supposed to be like not so irritating. Um, it says, like all of their packaging says sensitive skin experts. So I'm gonna give these a shot. Um, if I don't update you, just DM me. If you're not following me on Instagram, you guys should be. So I'll leave a link to my Instagram below. I always post like product updates and things that I'm using. So um, add me on Instagram, be friends with me, DM me all the time. Like I'm always on Instagram. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got at Publix. Again, for all of that stuff, I spent 140 some dollars. I think it was like 145 or 147 dollars. Not too bad for a Publix haul. There are some times that we go to Publix and we spend like almost $300. So the fact that I went and I spent under $200 was a good day for me. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope that it gave you a few ideas of like some healthy snack options or just showed you the kind of food that I like to eat. But if you have any questions about any of it, leave them down below in the comments and I'll get back to you. But if not, I'm gonna go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.